Rolling. Let's do it. Uh huh. The honorary inside. This is way overkill, but I have a cold. Demo. <laughs> what have we got? The keys. The keys. The keys to our destruction zone. Oh boy. A lot of work to do. Yes. A lot of work. What are your first thoughts? Just got our keys today. What are your first thoughts? Because this one is ready to knock out a wall. Look at her with her crowbar. My first thoughts are panic. Panic? Yeah. Sheer terror? Sheer yeah. terror. Okay, so now we're going to pull up some carpet and see what's underneath of them. I was hoping for hardwoods and you said no, that's absolutely no, not the no, case. it's just regular and just jump up. It's a Ugh. Oh, it smells so bad in this room. Ooh, did you see all the crap that came out of there? Yeah, Woo! I was trying to see. Gross! It smells like cat pee in here so bad. She really wants to knock a wall out, Daddy, like bad. So wait, you're ready to knock a wall out? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So I'm just going to do it right now. Well, you gotta wait for daddy, girlfriend, because I don't know which wall you're gonna take out. She is your kid. You wanna come out in the garage and knock a wall? I close my ears. Okay, let's do it hard. Hard. Demo. I should turn off the power, folks. There you go. First hole. Another one. Milk. I am your father. Oh my gosh. That's ripped carpet. Okay, so this is the bonus room. We just ripped the carpet up and the fibers are everywhere because like the padding disintegrated and it's disgusting. But the most important question is that this house is 52 years old. How did they live for 52 years without a light in this room? There's no light at all in this room, except for a window. I'm sure they have lamps, but like, what the crap? We're definitely not keeping this, right? Why would we keep this? It's atrocious. Is that coming down now? I guess it is. All right. It's just so much fun stuff to do. Check them off. Let me see what it looks like well, over I there. Like I want to be a little strategic about it here. What is? The, what kind of strategy is there with the demo? Well, I don't know. There, well, first of all, like power. Just think about things that are exposed that don't need to be exposed right now. For example, we probably need to go and get all the tax strips up now. You know, for little feet that might come through here. Yeah. Well, she'll always have shoes on. Thankfully. Well, I know. So we learned the hard way that you have to cut the carpet in strips instead of rolling it in one big thing because it's too heavy to carry. Made ourselves double the work. First timers over here, y'all. First timers. There it is. And yeah, try all. Karen's gonna be so sad she's missing this. She's got plenty of walls. <laughs> I want to see you do a chip game. Oh, you almost did. I'm not going to do this all day. No way. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so I'm rolling. Okay, so uh, this is our kitchen. At one time, there was a sink here. Beautiful. Right? Or was it there? The, That's it, called a stink pipe. Yeah. So the fridge was right there, stove was over here, and there's a really lovely flower pendant light mm -hmm. that was mustard yellow that was right there. This was the house of... <laughs> Construction dust. This was the house of boxes, I feel like. Yeah. There was just... There was just boxes. And so the kitchen, as you can tell, was actually very small. And then that was the dining room, which was even tinier. And there was a wall there, a wall there, a wall here. So we're opening all this up. And there was a massive fireplace there that was the stupidest design there, I've ever seen. All the way down, there's a pillow. So literally you walk in the front door and smack dab into a brick wall. Here, it's the do stupidest, it. you want me to do it, okay. So this is what it could be like. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, oh, there's a oh, wall there. Yep. Yeah, so that's how it was. So stupid. And then on both sides, which those are already torn out, there were two coat closets. Because apparently in this house, they had a lot of coats. I don't just more know. brick wall. But coat closet, so. coat closet. So this whole big guy right here is coming down and being relocated because we cannot live without a fireplace. That's essential. This is the one French door in the house, which I am have big hopes, dreams, and aspirations of adding a panoramic door. That's gonna be probably out of budget, but we're gonna, we're gonna work on that with Lanter, okay? And um, here's a fire, I'm sorry, a fridge in the place of where our fireplace is going to go. Sort of. Lovely, I was thinking about keeping that fridge Lovely there. harvest gold. Everything, if you guys are watching this and you have any history knowledge of, of design, everything was avocado green, harvest gold, poop brown and mauve. Do you think they Very market it colors. as poop brown? I market it as poop brown. Okay. I mean, look at the the harvest gold. Yeah, that's the old bathtub. Uh, bathtub we've already ripped out. Okay, come on, let's let's check out. Are the we ribs. doing a full tour? It kind of seems like that's what's happening. Kind of happening that way. This is guest bathroom number one. It is 56 square feet that we have to work out. There's the section there that there was a linen closet because there are three linen closets, two coat closets. There's a lot of closets happening in this house, but here's this linen closet and I'm really wanting to just knock this out and absorb it because I just don't feel the need for a linen closet anymore. We're, we're arguing about that, but our house in Tennessee does not have a linen closet. It was a four bedroom house, but we might eat up this one middle bedroom. We already, well, we already did. This is bedroom number one. This is gonna be my mom's bedroom. It's very tiny and I'm sorry, mom, about that. This is bedroom number two. This is McKenley's room. And bedroom three has been taken out and we're pushing the wall back on bedroom two to make it, give it just a, probably an additional three or four feet. Yep, closing up. And then the wall will go here. Closing and this doorway. this entire section will now be the primary suite. So I'm standing where the new- We think. Walk-in closet is going to be, we hope. Um, my goal is to, I really would like to brick up these windows and redo the windows. They're so out of place. I mean, if you look at this room, it's so odd that there's a window over there and then there's one there. Neither of them are cent centrally that, that located. That was the old wall, obviously. Yeah, but that, neither of them are, are centrally located no. in the wall. We think we're gonna do, well, we know. We're gonna do all new windows. We just don't know what and what they're gonna look like. And, and I'd really like to get rid of this and put a, a French door out here and have a walk out to the patio. Snowing outside. Yeah. That's really bright. You guys can't see that. And this was the closet and then the bathroom. So now it's going to be one large bathroom. We've already ripped this wall down. Yeah. Because right inside, as you can see, used to be. That was the primary bath, which was really small. And really beautiful with the poop brown. Poop brown. Yeah. That so way, if it gets on the floor, you just don't even know it. Yeah. Okay, so this juts out right here. This was linen closet number three. So I'm hoping to move that wall back and have an actual square space. And that'll give us about 100 square feet to work with in the primary bathroom suite. Okay, my dream is to have an HGTV show one day. This is the closest that I'm gonna get. And that's actually Matt's nightmare, I think, right? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so back here off the, what was the kitchen is a big bonus room back here. I think your dad is hiding somewhere. Da There's a dad's hiding in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the bonus room. This is the weirdest room in the house because it is bigger than 
three of the bedrooms. Yeah, I mean, it was probably like a TV. I guess so. But if you guys look, there's no light in here. They had no lighting sure. at all. Everything was by lamp. It was brown, the very dark cedar walls. What's and the dimensions of this room? High pile brown carpet, shag carpet. I actually don't remember. Joe, do you know what the dimensions were in here? It was like about 15 by 18. 15, 15 by, 18, by 18. 18. So we're thinking walk-in pantry, so guest powder room, bathroom. and laundry room. So yes. If you guys want to give us designs, 15 by 18. Send them our left. way. Send them our way. Okay, so funny story, this linoleum tile right here in the entryway is the exact linoleum tile that was in the kitchen that I of the house that I grew up in the year I was born in the 80s. So everything in this house was untouched, original 1970, like original. And um, everywhere I look and touch and walk, I have to be careful. I almost stuck my hand in a nail and I almost stepped on a nail earlier. Like it was like that long. But this is it. This is it. This is our humble abode. It's going to be beautiful when we're done. Also, I forgot to mention that this house has extremely low ceilings, not even eight feet, seven feet, eight inches. And if Matt can pan up, we are going to be lifting the ceilings all the way up and it's going to be stunning. Yeah. Like it's going to be so beautiful. Um, this house has had a single owner and I was walking through yesterday and I, I had like this overwhelmingly sad feeling of like, how beautiful we're gonna make this house and that she never got to see that. It's very sad, so. But we're gonna make it beautiful for our family and for everybody who comes to spend time with us. So I'm excited to bring you guys along on this journey. There's gonna be a lot of um, learning and probably, I'm sure, a lot of mistakes, but we're gonna have fun along the way, so. Yay! A little late night check on the vaulting. That. And the brick is down. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to come back because our next video, we're gonna be sharing the planning and the rebuild. So stay tuned.